Being kicked must have hurt, didn't it, Dorte? Did they think you won't gallop unless you're in pain? It must be difficult letting those brutes ride you. Hey, Marianne, what are you up to? Uh, n nothing Really? I was sure I heard you talking to someone. By the way, are you free right now? Is there something you need? I was about to go buy towels and soap, but the girls saddled me with all these specific requests. They want it all to look cute or to smell a certain way, but all that's just nonsense to me. I've always made my own towels out of old scraps and soap from used cooking oil. I've never given it much thought beyond that. Oh. But I've noticed you've got some really nice things. So you have an eye for that stuff, right? Obviously, I give you all the credit, and I'm sure everyone would be really grateful for your help. No, no. I don't deserve that kind of praise. Really? I don't think that's true. Come on, you'll be doing me a big favor. My adoptive father tells me I shouldn't stray too far from the monastery. That's nonsense. You've got to get some fresh air now and again. I should stay. Besides, I wouldn't be much help. I don't think anyone would like whatever I pick out anyway. It would all go to waste. And I'm sure that having me around would just cause you misfortune, Leone. Are you serious? I should stay here by myself. Now, hold on just a second. You'll cause me misfortune? What kind of backwards talk is that? If you really don't want me around, then at least come out and say it straight. I'm sorry for the unwelcome invitation. Don't worry, I won't make the same mistake again. <sighs> oh, hey, Marianne. I thought greenhouse duty was mine today. What are you doing here? Oh, I... Uh... I'm sorry. You've been avoiding me ever since I lost my temper, haven't you? You're probably scared of me now. In the moment, I was hurt. I'm sure you had good reasons to act the way you did. If you want me to leave you alone, I will. I promise, you've got nothing to fear from me. Leone, I... I've watered all the plants, so I'm done here. I'll get out of your way. Uh, wait! Huh? Hey, what is it? It's... um... I don't mean to bother you. I'm sorry for keeping you here. <laughs> no, not at all. Thanks for keeping me. Honestly, I've been worried about you. If you ever want to talk about anything, just say so. I'll make time. I've been avoiding people for most of my life, so I'm not the best at speaking. I know it's hard. You've been through a lot. But it's worth the extra effort to talk to your friends. I make everyone uncomfortable. I just don't know how to carry on a conversation. Hey, we're having one right now. And I'm telling you, I'm not uncomfortable. I'm actually really happy. So don't worry about me. And it's okay to be quiet sometimes, but Try to find a middle ground, at least. Otherwise, you'll never get any better. Oh. As far as what to talk about, anything's good. Hobbies, things you like, a dream you had last night. Really, anything. Okay, then. I, um... I like this flower. I think it's nice. I think so, too. Did you know that where I come from, those have a completely different color? Oh, really? I'd like to see that. Great. Come visit my village someday. In fact, we should invite all of our friends. It'll be fun. Oh, yes. That would be very exciting. <laughs>